Ándeles lindas, impatrióticas. Dale, que ustedes son putas y lo saben. Por favor, no me hables. Oh, mi amor, nadie te está obligando a hacer nada. Solamente quiero que animes al hombre que va a salvar a tu padre. ¿Tú quieres a tu padre, cierto que sí, linda? What's going on here, Captain DeSena? Just a little recruitment. Nothing for you to be concerned about. You boys using women soldiers now? Our customs are none of your concern. Apparently not. De Santa Mariconcito, me encontraste algunas chicas. Ay, mamacita, ¿dónde has estado toda mi vida? Ven, ven, mujeres. Ay, me gusta. Es tu Patriots working to make your acquaintance, ah, el coronel. Fantastic. I love Patriots. Ah, hey, Sergio Marston, you here to fight the war? And we shall make a Patriot of you yet. I hope so. Any word of those men? Oh, yes. I heard they were riding with Reyes. I wanted to talk to you about it. Uh, the Santo, uh, hable con él. Tell him what I wanted. Huh? <laughs> His Excellency, el Coronel, would like to employ you in escorting a train down rebel country. The job is dangerous. But you'll have the honor of... <laughs> Another patriot? Of knowing that you said Mexico in her fight against forces that would destroy our society. How much you offer? 20,000 pesos, and information as to the whereabouts of Javier Escuella. <laughs> okay, then. Mexico loves you, Mr. Martin. She has a funny way of showing it. <laughs> Hurry! We must go! Vámonos, muchachos. So it looks like it is me and you again, gringo. And there was me, thinking my dance card was full. What do you mean? Just that it's a pleasure to see such a noble patriot at work. Your sarcasm is childish and pathetic. This is an important assignment. Our orders are to deliver these munitions to Chuparrosa. They will help to finally crush the rebels. I hate to break it to you, Captain, but I think you're gonna need a lot more than this. I know. Most of the supplies are already in Chuparrosa. We will deliver them all by train to our base camp in Diez Coronas. Our forces are close to establishing control in that region. Why didn't DeSanta come with us? Why do you think? Because he is hardly a soldier. I'm sure he has other important business, like mailing letters and sweeping floors and flirting with barmen. He fought with you at Torquemada. Are you Kermar. defending that pathetic little Aaron boy? I did not see him fight. Without me, we would have lost the battle. He knows less than nothing on how to lead men. Yet he's the colonel's second in command. That is a good job. 
You are a funny man, gringo. The Santa licks the colonel's boots and plays with his waiter friend. That is all. I am Allende's brazo derecho, his right arm. I am one of the few men he respects. Is that right? You and him have something special, do you? The colonel needs a maid, a woman he cannot fuck. The Santa is that woman. The that Torquemada was hard, but the Zorro de Azul, now that was some fun. Am I right, gringo? Fun? Burning people's homes, killing innocent people? That's your idea of fun? When a woman picks up a rifle, when a child picks up a rifle, they become soldiers. Does it seem quiet to you? I don't know. You tell me. We have not seen a single rebel yet. I'd say that's a good thing, wouldn't you? Una emboscada! Abre el fuego! Country. An ambush feels about right to me. Soldado! ¿Quién eres? ¿Cuál escuadrón? Somos nuevos reclutas, Capitán. Es nuestra primera asignación. I knew I had not seen these men before. They are new recruits. In Escalera, people have been talking about the rebels planning a large attack. If these supplies are so important, why have we been given so few soldiers? Don't ask me. You're the captain. I thought you were supposed to be fearless. I am fearless, but not brainless. There is something wrong. I feel it. Maybe you just need to take a piss or something. The colonel told me that the Santa had praised my actions at Torquemada and called me a hero. He asked for me to be given this important assignment. Why would he do that? More of them! They are above us! Is that our train? Yes, it seems to be on schedule. At least one thing is going right for us. I agree. We ain't off to a good start. You shoot well, Gringo. Tell me something. What is your weapon of choice? What do you mean? We are close to Chuparrosa now. I still have a bad feeling about this. Tell me, why are you here? What did they promise you? 20,000 pesos in Javier Escuela. That is a lot of promises. Do you know where Escuela is? You think I am going to tell you that before you have fulfilled your obligations? Do not take me for a fool. I'm giving you no reason not to trust me. You must understand why we are suspicious of you. Most American vigilantes come here to help the rebels. It is strange you have chosen to work for the army. I'm not working for you. How many times do I have to say this? Call it what you want, gringo. We are exchanging favors then. I ain't seen many favors come my way yet. Abraham Reyes is trying hard to recruit gringos to fight for them. His propaganda is everywhere. He promises women, gold, and, of course, you come. Money and a chance to interfere in business that is not your own. How can any American resist? Here we are, at last. Volados! Abordamos el tren!
do not think we have seen the last of the rebels. You recruits can't win a fight like this. I need you to man the Gatling gun. I ain't the soldier here, Captain. Do not question me, gringo. Just do as I say. Can't be that hard. Just point and pull the trigger. Don't worry, Captain. I've used one of these before. For a cold-hearted killer, you're an anxious son of a bitch, ain't you? Yeah, well, I wasn't exactly expecting a pleasant picnic by the seaside myself.
not have far to go. The base camp is just at the top of the hill. That was madness. You did well, compadre. Very well. Whatever I can promise you in return, you have earned it. I don't think the Santa expected us to come back from this. Did you want to kill him, or should I? No. Until I find a squala, he's more used to me a lot. <laughs> Lucky to be alive. Go to the camp. The base commander will want to speak to you. Ese debe de ser Marston. Señor Marston, thank you for your efforts. The escort was a success. At least some of your men survived. I didn't think to survive myself. My whole life I have dreamed of a glorious death. <laughs> Vamos. Rapido antes uh, que nos ataquen otra vez. These socialist pigs cannot be allowed to win. Está mucho. Está bien, mamá. Está bien. No. no. Ah, señor Marston. Mamá, papá. Este es el gringo que me salvó. Muchas gracias. Uh, my family is indebted to you. Forgive my English. What's happening? Great and terrible things. The revolution is coming. The country will be in turmoil once more. This time, we hope it's the last time. Does that seem likely? With Abraham Reyes, anything is possible. Where's your family going? My parents and my brother are headed to the hills. My sister has to flee. The army have an unfortunate way of treating women. And you? Don't worry about me, Mr. Marston. I'm living in history. I'm not afraid to die. Your nobility is almost as affecting as your naivete. I would rather be dead than a cynic like you, Mr. Marston. I would too. I know you're not really like that. You saved me. Uh, Luisa, ¿quién va a salvar a Miranda? Tenemos que llevar al puerto su barco sale al anochecer. No queda tiempo. Mr. Marston, can I ask one more favor of you? Can you take my sister to the docks? We are sending her to work for a kind man in the Yucatan. She's too young for revolution. Okay. Anything I can do to help out? The boat leaves at sundown. Miranda, vamos. Oh, Dios, Miranda. Ten cuidado. Adiós. My brother has given us his stagecoach. They are good horses. It is not too far. I will show you the way. What do they want now? Act normal. It's nothing to worry about. Te conozco. Eres un pinche rebelde. Disparen! No la dejen escapar! Madre de Dios! Dios! 
Not likely. I ain't planning on staying very long. In some other life, then? Maybe. You should get going. Travel safely. What's wrong, Louisa? I don't weep for myself, but for my country. Abram Reyes has been captured. He has? He was coming to meet me at Roca Madera. 
It's a very romantic spot. It was a beautiful night, yet he was ambushed by patrol. My heart is breaking, but I cry for Mexico. Uh, where's he being held? El Presidio. You know, in our hearts, we are married already, but his family do not approve. How could they? Well, I'm little more than a peasant girl. But that's what makes Abram the man he is. He doesn't care for their bourgeois, snobbery, or elitism. He sees the real me, the woman. I'm sure. I'm going to go and rescue him or die trying. Oh, well, well, I don't think that's such a good idea. Ride with me to near the jail. We'll figure out how to rescue him. Mr. Marston, you are truly a friend of this land. So everyone keeps informing me. Let's go, Mr. Marston. My best. There is a partially broken down wall. You should be able to scramble over it. Hurry, but please be careful. There are guards everywhere. If they see you, they will kill you both. Well, if he's alive, I'll try to make sure he stays that way. I have some friends waiting for me near the river. Bring Abraham there. Good luck. Sorry about this, partner. Luisa sent me. We have to meet her by the river. Que? Luisa, the girl you're marrying. Oh, yes. Such a devoted thing. El amor de mi vida. 
Now get us a horse, my friend. I am in no condition to ride myself. Let's go. Slow. Vamos, let's hurry to Louisa. Louisa sent me. Vamos, let the prisa. The army is coming. Carajo, here they come. Luisa asked for my help. As I thought you were a friend of Allende's, I was planning on putting a bullet in your back. Well, try to resist the urge. How do you know my young lover, Laura? It's Luisa. I saved her life not so long back. I will not forget this, compadre. You will be rewarded. Money, women, Luisa, if you want her. I'm here for two men, and that's it. You have been spending too much time with Captain De Santa. Very funny. Not like that. I'll explain later. I am free again! I will write a poem about this day. This is from a man who was tied to a post with a gun in his face a few minutes ago. I wish I could see Allende's face when he finds out that I defeated a hundred of his men. We saw his apaquet. Buena suerte, compadres. There she is. I remember her now. Mi amiga. Abraham, Mr. Marston. Oy. The revolution will live on thanks to you. Yes, indeed, John. You are as a brother to me. And my people need a man such as you to help our cause. My ranch is in Agave Viejo, and let me say, my brother, that we await you. Well, best of luck to both of you, but I need to find two men so I can return to America. Mm, no problem. I will help you find those men. And in return, you will win a people her freedom. Viva Mexico! La Barona de Tuba, bella. Bye, John. Vente conmigo. Tú sabes que en esta luz puedo ver el fuego en tus ojos. Laura! Dame la fuerza para luchar. Your Marston! Good news, good news. The Coronel himself wants to speak to you. Come. Dámelo! Dámelo! Besito! Besito! Don't be so conventional! Ah! Ah, look at that ass, huh? Magnificent! That's save her for later. Or I'll kill her and all her family. They're probably rebels anyway, huh? Anyways, it's good to see you, amigo. Good to see you. You know, you 
are a rare find. A gringo who is also a friend of our country. Bienvenido. We welcome you. Okay. Dad, relax, relax. I have some wonderful news for you. Quite wonderful, in fact. You know the men you hunt? They have been captured in Chupa Rosa. I want you and DeSanta to ride out there, and then you can take possession of them. It is my gift to you for all your help, senor. Although part of me wishes that you would remain here and enjoy more of our hospitality, huh? <laughs> Thank you. If it's all the same, I'd like to collect them then. I have a wife and son at home whom I miss. Ah, don't we all, amigo? Don't we all? <laughs> the center. I want you to take care of Senor Marston. Vámonos, cabrón. Go! Adelante! <laughs> Mi amor! Mi amor! <laughs> Follow me. A wagon has already been prepared. Colonel will find this man for you. For your sake, you best be telling the truth. You have my word. After that trick you pulled on me with the munitions train, I ain't sure that means very much. You have Espinosa to blame for that. Come now, John. After everything we've been through, I think we can trust each other, don't you? How did you find him? They were captured just outside Chuparosa. Every rat must come out of his hole eventually. Being held in the church, a chance for them to contemplate heaven before you send them to hell. We have the area surrounded. Oh, cheer up, John. This is what you came for. You're so tense all the time. Come, let's have some fun. A little competition with my soldiers to see who's the best shot. What do you say? Anything better than talking to you. Ah, excelente. Okay, each man gets five shots at the local wildlife. Whoever kills the most, I will give $25. Carlitos, muestrale como se hace. Mucho gusto! I'm a Spingo! Well, if they tell me why you're hunting these outlaws. I guess it beats getting a real job. You know, if you were less sick of them, people might be more inclined to trust you. Are you married? Or do you break young girls like you her? No, I could never touch a woman like that. It's not my way. But for them, it's an honor to please their leader. My wife and child have been taken from me. That's why I have to find these men. I can sympathize with you, Senor Bastón. I am married to my country. These rebel traitors, they're trying to take it from me. No, I never took a wife. A woman can be a powerful force. Like my mother. Or a destructive one. Like my mother. I find it better to avoid them. When these strong men become weak, I give them the temptations of the flesh. Saving your bullets for Tuparosa. I see. Here we are. Go, my friend. They're in the church. Now worry. Right behind you. Very reassuring. This is it. A moment of truth. Why are they in the church? It is a good place as any to judge a man. Wouldn't you say? Are they armed? No, they're prisoners. Take a deep breath. Calm yourself. It would be like lambs to the slaughter. Mr. Maston, <laughs> gracias for your 
your service to this land. <laughs> ¡Levanten esta pizza, mierda! <risa> ¡Levántenlo! <risa> ¡Marston! ¡Hey! ¡Marston! You have betrayed this land enough. I hope you have a clear conscience. Because you're about to meet God. <risa> ¡My brother! ¡They will kill you if we don't give your rosso! Reinforcements! Lucky for you, I arrived when I did. I guess we're even there. Now find your weapons and fight these dogs! that the days of this evil regime are numbered. Soon, we shall be free, living together in a noble republic, justly ruled by fine men. But, 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 el trabajo, the job is not done. Our struggle is not over. We will fight all day and night. Until local tyrants like Allende are no more. And him and all his dogs are brought to the sword. We shall be free. This time things shall be different for every man and woman in this land. And, and one day, and one day soon, Allende will know justice! My brothers, fight on! In our hearts, we are all free! Let us make it so! Viva la revolución! Viva Mexico! 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 Mexico!
Just a little something for my trouble. Let's go! Hey, senor. You want trouble, friend? Manos arriba. Antilas! Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. Mueve El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them, that they may be free. While there are guns, and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abraham Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Come on, the army convoy is already on its way.
sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chupa Rosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family, but I still can't forgive you for helping again. For what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Linde betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me? You? Him? We're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston? The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, they just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence. And all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso. New paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. revolution so much, Mr. Marston. I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. That if we spill enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Free them. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. I feel terrible. But it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to protect him, give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. You have experience with explosives. A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. Vamos, tell us where to place it. Start here.
Another one here. This is good. Here's good. I'm glad you are here to help us. They are coming. Get ready, John. Look, they are coming. Thank you, Mr. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. <laughs> 